Oh, hey, what's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we're sitting here up in Pinecrest in our temporary office with the lake in the background, working on editing the latest video, which I will bring to you next. So stay posted. This is our no-show locker that we picked up for five bucks. Hope you like the adventure. <laughs> I don't know why I made that sound. I just felt like that was appropriate because I just stole a locker. I mean, I feel like I stole it. I got it for five bucks. Five bucks. I have never bought a locker for that cheap before, ever. It's public storage, live auction. Uh, they have a bunch of them today, but I only have time to go to the first one because it is literally down the street from our house. Like, literally. Across the street from where we coach basketball. Like, five bucks. I'm super jazzed. But um, I, I just bought that other locker literally two days ago. My garage is stuffed with stuff. I've only sold a few things. So they said, I was hesitating. They said, we'll give you extra time. I said, how much time can you give me? They said, we'll give you a week. I'm like, that's fantastic because it's normally 48 hours. All right, just popped it open, and here's what we've got. Baby chair. There's a speaker, that's a good sign. And down here, of course, I remember the fridge. And I sure hope the door is in there. I'm hoping that door is in there. Hopefully they just open it up to let it air. But, um, and then here's the TV. All right, biting into it. Got some stuff out. There's all the stuff so far, it's amazing how much stuff can come out of just this area right here <laughs> so um, still can't see really what's back there I think I see a Christmas tree it's unfortunate there's another baby seat right there see like how many baby seats these people have Are they having like quadruplets or something I don't know some shelving who knows what the poles are in there but they're, it's pretty grody probably just sticks up to the top somebody like chocolate Tons of chocolate, expired 1217. To the dump it goes. Got these two baby seats here. They look to be identical. One's blue, one's pink. Maybe they were buying one for each way the baby's gonna go, or maybe they're having twins. And then something's on here, but there's some food and rice and stuff spilled there. So I'm not gonna take that out just yet. Get the shot back on it. Here's an electronic postal scale. Looks like it's in the box. What's that say? 25, 2450 or something. Oh, damage return. Okay. So, I got a box of some kind of power bars, protein bars to the dump. This big box here, which is quite heavy. All I see in it is Gatorade bottles. <laughs> trash, trash can. Good grief. All right, so then here, Christmas lights. These are Christmas lights. Box of this and that, so I'll go through that. I don't really see anything. Kids coloring books. Broken bottle Windex. And some more food items in this bin. Stuffed animals. A little protein tank. Um, that thing, like I said, is easy to sell. Got this speaker here. I don't know that brand. I don't have my glasses, so. Maybe you do know it. Oh, KLH, that's a good brand. Huh. That's actually a good brand. That's like the speakers that I found in that studio locker. I think those were KLH, maybe I'm wrong. But that's a powered speaker, so that's um that's interesting. And then this box here smells like paint thinner. So that's what we got so far. And here's a storage tip. If you're buying a unit on the second floor, ask before you buy if they have an elevator. Kind of makes a difference. And uh, I see a walker back there. I don't know if those have any value. But um, yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, there's so much garbage. Garbage. Christmas trees. Two, I mean, two, I think. There's a box there. There's a box there. Just saw this box, spotted this. So. I haven't pulled it out yet. Uh, it's light. I was hoping. <laughs> uh, 
Nope. Stale candy. I don't know if there's bulbs in those boxes or not. I'll go through it. Food items. Disgusting. Garbage. I don't know. Let's see something like BMX thing or something. A ball. A hat. And nothing of value. I did find these two spools here. I'm not sure what this is. This looks like paracord or something. I'll have to look and see, see what that is. And then here's a brand new spool of looks like wire. And that could be, I don't know, maybe that'll hold some value. We'll see. I saw this bag. I thought, ooh, laptop. No. Yeah. Just another bag. <laughs> And a diaper and a microwave plate. I did get the TV out. Of course, this is the side that was sticking out, which looks good. That was the side that was in there, which looks bad. All right, load one is done. I'm not sure if that was 17 trips down the stairs or if that was, I lost count at 17 trips down the stairs, but that was a lot of trips down the stairs. So, yeah, I'm tired, sweaty. I gotta keep going. All right, so this has already been an interesting, don't show any of the mail, okay? okay? But this has already been an interesting locker because Grace and I are sitting here. I, I got home with that first load. We're going through the stuff. We haven't found anything hungry. It's of value. Can I show them well, the trash can? Yeah. But we've got um, all these boxes, boxes and boxes of this think thin stuff. All these bars, they're all expired. About a year old. Um, I mean, they expired a year ago, so we've been trying to uh, maximize our trash here, so dumping the bars out, recycling the boxes, um, but we found some mail, I'm not going to show you the name of it, um, but basically, I was like, that guy sounds familiar, this is actually a client of ours, very briefly, in our former business, so um, that's a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day two, and I'm headed down to the storage locker this morning. I'm pretty tired today because yesterday, not only did I unload, take a load out of that locker in like 17 trips up and down the stairs, um, I had also gone to the gym that morning and then went last night to help our friends move. So today's a dump run day. I've got the bed pretty much full already with stuff from my friend's house as they are decluttering and cleaning everything out. And then I'm gonna go to the locker and pick up kind of the bigger stuff. Not only would I ask why would someone store this kind of stuff, freaking steams all over it. Mattress, disgusting and dirty. And that was before I just rolled it down the stairs. And it tears all over it. Why would someone pay to store this? Better question, why would someone carry all that stuff up to the second floor? It's just nuts, just bring it to the dump. So here's our second Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It's showtime. He's unloading. There goes the stuffed animals. Candies that are rotten. Other debris. We'll have this load dumped and ready to go in, I say, 3.5 minutes at the most. Dun, 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 dun. Here it comes. Superman. Some kind of lotion or something spilled, so now I have a bunch of lotion on the back of my truck. Enjoy. Sounds like a good time out there. Here's the Henry. Looks so unhappy. Okay, he's watching me film him. He's like, don't film me. <laughs> Listen, lady. Stink eye. He totally was. Let me just scan that real quick. I got one of these cool little scanners. Let me see if that comes up with anything. <laughs> what? What? Come on, what does that say? What? What? <laughs> five milliliter. Five milliliter. Brand new. $29 for this? Wait, what? That can't be. They must never sell. That's a ridiculous price. What the heck? One of these just sold 10 days ago 
for $21 <laughs> plus $9 shipping. Wait, what the heck? I literally thought these were going to be like a dollar each at the flea market. And I was just going to scan it for funsies. Look at that. This is sold. One sold on January 20th. One sold on November 25th. So basically we can... We have a chance of selling these and I'll price them $19.99 and be lower than those guys. Plus we'll get shipping. That is so awesome. So look, Grace, scan this right here. I mean, film this right here. Whoa. Look at this. This is what I just pulled out of this little box that I brought home for us to go through. And I didn't think nothing of it. I opened it. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have nine of those. One's missing. And if each one's worth 10 bucks, I mean 20 bucks, how much is that? These look new. Anyone? Nine. 180, that's right. Here you go, Camille. You want to go through this? Sure. Oh, that is disgusting. Gross. We need these though, right? No, please no. Please just dump all that in the garbage can. Big old glove. It fits like a glove. <gasps> we found our first money. There's our first five cents. That's one percent of the locker you just got back. Since we paid five dollars. Oh, here's another one. Oh yes. We've recovered two percent <laughs> of our investment. Oi love. Fresh effects. Olay. Olay. Hey, don't Olay. Olay. Do you have one of those buckets? Except hey, Grace, there's a sketch pad. Ooh, Strong can I paper. Have it? Yeah, absolutely. No. Right there for now. Ah, oh, come on. I'm sorry. Okay, what's this? Air horn. Can you honk it? Oh, they broke it, didn't they? Yeah. It's broken right there. Did they really? That stinks. It doesn't look broken. Can't you just clip it back on? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, Dad, worry about this one. Okay. Let me try it. You ready? Look at it. You ready? It works. It totally works. <laughs> wow. It's uh, it's just a one shot one though. Can't... Oh, what we got here? Oh, is that another perfume? Yeah. Oh, it's, not, it's right more? there. This is a bigger one of the same thing. Shalimar. Oh, that's got a crack right there. What? See? Oh, that sinks. I think that's what that is. Hmm. Is it open? Can we all open it and see if it's already been opened? Let's get a whiff of that and see if it's good or if it's not good. Or if it's legit. Stop rolling. No, Paintbrush and go garage sale. Yeah. Well, I just did. Right. All this can go in the garbage. Oh, um, I'm not sure, sure if this ever has been open. Mm -hmm. Should I uh, spray it? Or you could just sniff it from. Oh, that's wrong. Can I smell? Mm -hmm. Let me smell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you spray it? You know, he got... You now smell it. Oh, that smells weird. It smells like a mm. hotel. That is faux weird. I'm being honest, folks. <laughs> she got a glove in one hand yep. and a cast in the other. Yep. Me and Camille are just hanging out. It smells like medicine. Okay, wait, 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 here, put it in yes. here. In chamber. Oh, oh my. Yuck! Dark chocolate, it's melty. We're so Gorilla glue. Ooh, that that could you could keep that or something. I would definitely use that, but it is already dried out. Oh well, that's okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That was. And that's what we got. That was so worth it. Yep. Get my thumbs up. Oh. Did you do a good job of looking through this? Feel that? There's a there. something. No. You gotta go through everything. Yep. Yeah, you know, look. Any treasures escape. <gasps> there could be a check for a million dollars in there. Oh my gosh. It's not an envelope. Oh. Yeah. I mean, wait. What does it, it say? Envelope. There's a clue. What? I don't know. What does that say? What does that say? A Gia? Uh, a Gia? Whoa. Oh, it's empty. Yeah. No, you don't know that. It's still. <gasps> Did you put a rubber glove on your broken hand? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You're funny. Oh my God. I, I took it off, I put it on, and then voila. Voila. Found these little boxes of parts for oh, track lighting. Cool. And I looked them up, and they sell on Amazon for 17 bucks each, brand new. And I think we could pass this off as brand new because they are not used. And I just have to clean the boxes up. But 17 bucks, we've got seven of them. Day three of the storage unload. I'm headed over right now. We're running out of time. We just got a lot going on right now in our lives. So even though this one's close and not that big, 5x10, I'm having a hard time uh, getting getting it done so I'm headed over right now I don't think I can finish it all on this trip but I'm gonna try and uh, with any luck hopefully I'll wrap this up soon all right so here's what I got getting down to it it is looking better I still haven't found the, the door for this freezer or I'm sorry the refrigerator this mini fridge still haven't found the door and that's a real bummer why would you store a half-eaten Curios like there's something called a garbage can where you could place these items if you're not going to eat them right away because they will not stay. I have this big gas can in there. I don't know if I can sell that or not. It's got a nice pump on it. it makes the whole area stink. This, uh, this bag has stuffed animals. I threw a couple of the liquid containers. Another baby seat carrier thing. Found this. That's that's good. It's brand new in the bag. I mean in the box. I peeked in this bag. This is stored next to the gas can. So everything just smells like gas. I know that'll evaporate and go away, but... <coughs> a couple pairs of shoes. These are nice. So we'll look those up. See how much those have. Yeah. This is a kid's vest, which is DKNY. Almost to the back. And nothing's very promising. And here's that walker. It's got tags on it. That'll probably sell, I think. I don't know. I never sold one. So, getting closer. Dead mouse. Must have been under the fridge. I didn't even notice him with the fridge. Didn't see him. Glad I didn't step on him. I was totally thinking, like, how is there not mice in this locker? Because there is so much food in here. Alright. I stopped filming because I realized that I was seriously running out of time. And I just started busting it. The one thing that I'm so, so happy I found, so like the fridge, that mini fridge, uh, no no front door on it. I couldn't find the door. I'm giving up hope. I'm like, oh, that really sucks because those are expensive to dump. And all the way in the farthest wall behind all the boxes wrapped in a towel is the door. I'm like, I cannot believe this. This is so awesome. That If the fridge works, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks. It's a, that's a score. So I checked out from the storage and, with the manager and I said, hey, I got like a few of the guys' photos, like three photos. Didn't find anything else. She goes, oh, you can just dump it. And I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah, the lady died. And I'm like, I think it was a guy's locker. And she's like, no, it was a lady. It was the wife of a, uh, that was probably the husband. So she died and the, uh, oh, I'm getting. So the reason why I was in such a rush is because there's another locker auction today <laughs> at one o'clock so i was really pressed for time to make this next auction and the, again the only reason i wanted i was making sure i made this auction is because it's right by my house actually this one is where i store my personal stuff so i love this place so here we go off to the auction and this time my wife's actually joining me only because i bribed her here's the door for the fridge which i am so happy about That is the difference between $95 disposal fee at the at the dump and maybe selling it for 100 bucks online. So that's it. We're getting close, down to the tail end of our $5 locker and got some uh, got a few things to list of value and got a few more items to bring to the garage sale, which is this weekend. So hopefully uh, we will crank in some good dough from the stuff that we have and also make room in the garage because when I make room in the garage that means I get to buy more stuff Yay! Not. all right just pulled out these jeans I'd seen these earlier Burberry Brit which I didn't know if that was for real or not they looked nice so I thought I was hoping they were 
and um, didn't look at them close enough, but now I look at them, they do look good. Look at those buttons. You got the nice Burberry pattern in here. This tag, which is a little different. And then you got this embroidered here. And then when I look at those on eBay here, this is looking at sold listings. 50 bucks, someone accepted less than 50. Here's 125, they accepted less. All right, here's just a few more items. This box of Sun Dot Power parts. Um, they're little clamps, rail caps. The kind of stuff we find, eight, eight up labels. We use those, so we'll put those aside. The kids use these for school, so I'll put those aside. This thing's like a nasal mask. It's like a medical device. I, found, I saw this online. I think this goes for about 20, 25 bucks. It's brand new. Reynolds wrap, brand new in the box. Um, All right, garage sale day. It's still dark out. Got the truck loaded up. I'm headed over to my mom's house. We're gonna have a garage sale there and uh, help our friends out who are moving and downsizing. And they're bringing all their stuff too. It's gonna be pretty chaotic, so. Ah, long day ahead. Okay, Monday morning, back to the grind, T taking the kids to school. And uh, this weekend we had a big garage sale. Right, girls? Yep. How much money did we make? 570. 570. That's right, Camille. You, you never even told me. Oh, yeah, you went to the dance. That's right, I forgot. Grace had her first high, uh, middle school dance. Really exciting. No? No. So, uh, I completely messed up and blew it and did not get any video at the garage sale we were helping our friends move they brought their stuff out to the garage sale it was majority theirs and they sold almost two thousand dollars one thousand nine hundred and seventy so together two families sold over twenty five hundred and that is amazing for a garage sale incredible of course we're giving great prices with quality merchandise that always helps is that our best? that's our best if you add the two families together, that was by far our best garage sale. Do you girls have anything to add about the garage sale? How it went? What your thoughts were? Not really? Well, I think we sold a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think we did really good. We did, huh? It was a little harder with two families because a lot of people would take our stuff and then they'd walk over to the other family. Yeah. It's true. All right, so that's it for today. Time for school. Here's the door, which I found in the very back of the locker, wrapped in a towel. It's in really nice shape. I mean, it's, it's actually a really nice looking piece. That's, I think, paint. I'll get that off. <clears throat> but I'm about to start cleaning this thing up. Got a little booger there. Hopefully I didn't do that. <laughs> uh this is going to be a nice little man cave piece. Alright, so there were a few surprises and a few disappointments in this locker, as always. Uh, the best thing about it was the cost. Five bucks. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. But let me take you through where we ended up so you can see uh, you know, what all sold and how much it sold for. Keep in mind when I put the numbers on the screen, I'm showing you what they... Uh, the proceeds were after the eBay fees, shipping, all that kind of stuff. So I tried to show you a very accurate, uh, you know, representation of what the profit is. So if you're out there thinking you're going to be doing storage lockers for a living, um, don't let me discourage you, but it's going to be a lot of hard work for not all that much profit. So, uh, but let me show you what we got this time. All right. The first item that sold, believe it or not, is the juicer bags. It sold like within 24 hours. I was really hoping the juicer would be in there. It looks like it's a high-end juicer. But, um, yeah, these bags are in demand. Sold very easily. The next thing, another surprise that sold so quick and easy were the Sun Power clamps for clamping on, or, you know, for securing your solar panels. Those sold, I listed for 19 bucks. I think they also sold within 24 hours. So another nice surprise there. 
Very quickly after was that Rockstar fridge. I thought that that would make a nice addition to someone's man cave. And sure enough, a lady came and bought it for her husband's man cave. He had a fridge apparently just like this that stopped working. And to repair it was much more than the price I was asking, which was $150. So someone came and picked that up, gave me $150 cash. After that, uh, we sold those Express jeans for not much money, $18.99. But still, if I brought that to the garage sale, I maybe got 2 bucks, 3 bucks, 5 bucks, maybe. So I was happy with that. The furnace wire sold for 50 bucks. This is actually a, a nice little um, profit center for me. Those little Shalimar perfume bottles, which I think were one of the nicest surprises because I was thinking a dollar each at the garage sale. I wind up selling all nine for 20 bucks each. That included shipping, so I didn't get you know that much. I think I netted out about $14.50 each, but still, really nice take. The larger uh, tester model I put up for an auction it wound up selling for just over 20 bucks, which I was surprised at because it was um, probably about four times the volume of the small bottles and sold for about the same. But the crack in the glass and the fact that it had been open most likely deterred some buyers. The Burberry jeans, that was nice. 55 bucks with free shipping and those didn't take too long to sell. The problem with those is that they stunk like gasoline because they were in the same box as the gasoline can. And uh, so my bright idea was to wash those. Well, then guess what? My washing machine smelled like gas and my wife was not happy with me really nice pair of jeans I wish they fit me I would have kept them that little remote uh, which goes to I believe an electric scooter it uh, sold for $35 and I was happy about that the last item that I'll show you is those really cool Kobe shoes um, I finally took an offer on those for 40 bucks on eBay I think I originally listed them for like 70 or 80 they sell for a lot of money and this pair was in pretty good condition the only major detractor there was that they were they were missing the soles let me go through this here this is all the amounts that we got after any ebay or amazon fees and after shipping and uh what it brings us down to is a ground total of 591 dollars in sales so the profit on this locker surprisingly came out to 562 dollars and i'm sorry 564 dollars which is a whopping 1,913% ROI. That's crazy. So um, I don't think I can beat that very easily. Um, that's hard to do, 1,900% ROI. I wish I would do 1,900% ROI with a locker that I spend $1,000 on. So uh, maybe someday. But hey, I'm very happy about that. This was another God deal success. All right, so here we are, September 30th, wrapping up the video from January. So I'm running about eight months behind on my videos right now. It's terrible. No excuse, really. But um, just wanted to say, I was so excited at the time to get this locker for five bucks. Five bucks, it's almost free. Um, and it had such a great return with it. We made a lot of money. Um, but the um, since then, in the last eight months, I've picked up, I think, at least two or three more lockers for five bucks each they're way better than this one so um i just wanted to say I, i'm i am running behind on my video making uh schedule but but uh hang in there if you would i ask every time if you would please subscribe to my channel okay i, I will um not me personally but youtube will send you a notification when i post a new video and also if you like the video hit the like button all right that that does help me out so um, but I do I do plan to have more videos coming up very soon I've got tons of videos shot I just have to edit it and put it together and hopefully make it halfway interesting so you folks will continue watching it all right so um, as always uh, God bless you good luck and we'll see you next time here on God Ordeal.